Here we have the question. The following displacement field is imposed on a body. The displacement field is given u is equal to x y i plus 3 x square z j plus 4 k into 10 power minus 2. The action cosines n x, n y and n z are given. This value are given. And now the coordinate of p is 2, 1, 3 and p q is delta s. Find p dash q dash after deformation. In the previous video, we have already discussed about the strain tensor, strain displacement gradient matrix, etc. So using that displacement gradient matrix, we are going to solve this problem. We need to find, find P dash Q dash after deformation. So Q is a point which is near to P. All those things we have studied in the previous class. Though from this question, I understand one thing. The coefficient of I will be Ux, that is Xy. The coefficient of j will be uy that is equal to 3x square z and the coefficient of k will be uz uz is equal to 4 or 10 power minus 2 is there 4 into 10 power minus 2 ux is equal to xy into 10 power minus 2 uy is equal to 3x square z into 10 power minus 2 don't forget this 10 power minus 2 okay and then other things given nx is given ny is given nz is given uh, point cartesian uh, coordinate points 2 1 3 is given length is given delta s is the length and find p dash q dash after deformation so our aim is to find the new uh, displacement field so the new displacement field how i could write for p dash q dash so it will be like this delta x plus delta ux into i plus delta y plus delta uy into j plus delta z plus delta u z into j sorry into k i j k so this is the new displacement field that we need to find out in order to find this displacement field we should find delta x delta y delta z first after that we can go to the uh, components of p dash q dash that are uh, delta u x delta u y and delta u z so first of all we can go through the components of p q so the components of p q are delta x delta y and delta z i can write it components of pq first to find out the components of pq that is delta x we already have the formula that is direction cosine into length of pq length of pq is delta s delta nx is given in the question that is 0 0.2 0 0.2 into delta s delta y what is delta y that is Direction cosine ny into delta s that is equal to 0 0.8 into delta s delta z is equal to n z into delta s that is equal to 0 0.35 delta s so we found delta x delta y and delta z now we need to find delta ux what is the equation for delta ux very very simple that is dou by dou x of ux into what delta x plus dou by dou y of ux into delta y plus dou by dou z of ux into delta z this was the equation now delta now we can find delta u y that is equal to dou by dou x of u y into delta x plus dou by dou y of u y into delta y plus dou by dou z of u y into delta z delta u z equation is dou by dou x of u z into delta x plus dou by dou y of u z into delta y plus dou by dou z of u z into delta z so this is the equation in this equation many terms are unknown that we need to find out so one by one we can find out first of all this term dou by 
डॉ एक्स ऑफ यू एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू डॉ बाई डॉ एक्स ऑफ यू एक्स इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वालिफिशन ऑफ आई दैट इज एक्स वाई इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू एक्स वाई इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू दैट वी कैन राइट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वी कैन मेक ए डिफरेंशिएशन हियर दैट इज इक्वल टू वाई इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टू देन द कार्टिशियन कॉर्डिनेट्स आर टू वन थ्री Given two one three means x y and z respectively. In terms in the place of y here we have one that is equal to ten power minus two. Now going to the second thing, do by do y of u x, do by do y of u x. What is that? Do by do y of x y into ten power minus two. That is equal to Uh, with respect to y, we have x into ten power minus two. What is x? X is equal to two. That is two into ten power minus two. Fine. Now we have the third term. Do by do is it of u x? Do by do is it of u x? What is that? Do by do is it of x y into ten power minus two? No, is it in this term? So this is equal to zero. Now we can substitute and find the delta u x first. Delta u x. Let us make the cake. Delta u x is equal to uh, do by do x of u x into delta x. That is do by do x of u x is ten power minus two. Ten power minus two into what is that? Uh, delta x is zero point two into delta s. Zero point two into delta s. Plus, do by do y of u x is two into ten power minus two. Two into ten power minus two into delta y. Delta y is zero point eight delta s. Zero point eight delta s. And then, do by do is of u x that is zero. Zero into delta is zero. Plus zero. So this is the value for delta u x. Uh, so delta u x is equal to now this is equal to delta u x value we are getting it as eighteen into ten uh, power minus three delta s eighteen into ten oh, power minus three delta s so this is the value for delta u u x two into ten power minus three Uh, 18 to 10 power minus 3. It uh, sorry 16, 16 plus 2, 18. 18 into 10 power minus 3 delta x. That is the value for delta x. Now I am writing this question and write delta x here. Delta x is equal to 18 into 10 power minus 3 delta s. Let it be there. Now we can find delta uy. So I can rub all these things. Delta u x is finished. Now we have do by do x of u y uh, that is equal to do by do x of u y is three x square is it? Three x square is it into ten power minus two? It is given u y. Now we can differentiate with respect to x that is equal to six three into two six x is it into ten power minus two? X is two and z is equal to three. It is given in the question. X y z coordinates of p. So six into six thirty six thirty six into ten power minus two. Now do by do y of u y that is equal to do by do y of three x square is it into ten power minus two that is equal to zero. With respect to y, we cannot make a differentiation here. So now do by do z of u uh, y that is equal to do by do z of three x square is it into ten power minus two. That is equal to with respect to z, we are making the derivative uh, differentiation. Three uh, x square into ten power minus two. Three x square into ten power minus two. X is equal to two. Uh, therefore, two uh, square four twelve. Twelve into ten power minus two. This is the value for what? Uh, coefficients of delta x, delta y, and delta z. Now we can find delta u y. Uh, delta u y is equal to do by do x of u y. Thirty six. Into ten power minus two 
into delta x. Delta x is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 delta s plus what? Dou by dou y of u y. That is 0. 0 into delta y, 0. Plus. Another term is there. Uh, 12 into 10 power minus 2 into delta z. Plus 12 into 10 power minus 2 into delta z is 0 0.55. 0 0.55. Just to make a uh, fast calculation. Uh, so the answer we are getting um, it is 0 point, uh, 0 0.138 uh, that much uh, delta s ui now we are having and now we can go for delta u is it delta u is it see with respect to uh, x, y, z, we have to make differentiation for u, z. u, z, let's see, u, z is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 2. No variables, x, y, z, uh, nothing. There is no, nothing there. So we cannot make a differentiation. So delta u, z value will be 0. So delta u, z is equal to 0. That also we obtained. No need for differentiating this because in u, z, there is no variable, only 4. While differentiating, we will get 0 only. Now, we can go to our conclusion. What is asked? The new displacement field for P dash Q dash. That is U of P dash Q dash. That is equal to delta X plus delta UX. What is delta X? 0 0.2. 0 0.2 delta S plus Delta ux is 1, 18 into 10 power minus 3, that is equal to 0 0.018. 0 0.018 delta s into i plus what is the next term? Uh, that is um, delta y, 0 0.8. 0 0.8 delta s plus 0 0.138. 0 0.138 uh, delta s into j plus. Next term 0 0.55, 0 0.55 delta s plus delta u is 0. That much. This is the final displacement field. We can make uh, final answer P displacement field of P dash Q dash that is equal to 0 0.018 into 0 0.2. That is equal to uh, sorry point two plus point zero one eight. That is equal to point two one eight. Point two one eight zero point two one eight i plus point eight plus point nine three eight zero point nine three eight j plus zero point triple five zero point triple five k. So this will be the final answer. U p dash q dash. Okay, now we can go to handle the problem. Okay, now here we have the question. Consider the displacement field u is equal to y square i plus 3 y is at j plus 4 plus 6 x square into k multiplied by 10 power minus 2. What are the rectangular strain components at a point 102? For finding the rectangular strain components, we need to identify the position vectors. So first uh, identify the coefficient of i, coefficient of j and coefficient of k that indicates ux is equal to coefficient of i, y square. Coefficient of j indicates uy for the 10 power minus 2. uy is equal to 3y z into 10 power minus 2. Coefficient of k, u z is equal to 4 plus 6x square into 10 power minus 2. Now rectangular strain components. The rectangular strain components are, or we can write uh, epsilon xx, uh, epsilon yy, epsilon zz. In terms of gamma, we are writing this gamma xy, uh, gamma xz. So here gamma uh, what yx, gamma yz. Here gamma zx, gamma zy. So these are the rectangular strain components. Out of this only 6 needs to find out because of the cross uh, shear property only 3 rectangular strain components shear strain components will exist and 3 normal strain components will exist. So this one will exist. Normal strain components. Now we can find gamma xy, gamma xz and gamma 
uh, is at y. All the, these three things now we need to find out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 strain components we are going to find out. So for obtaining the epsilon xx, what we need to do? Epsilon xx is equal to dou by dou x of ux. That is dou by dou x of y square into 10 power minus 2. That is equal to 0. Now I can find epsilon yy. Epsilon yy is equal to dou by dou y of uy. That is equal to dou by dou y of uy. 3y is into 10 power minus 2. 3y is into 10 power minus 2. That is 3 is into 10 power minus 2. That is equal to in terms of z. x, y, z. z is equal to 2. So I will get a 3 into 2. 6 into 10 power minus 2. 6 into 10 power minus 2. Now uh, epsilon z is equal to dou by dou z of u z. What is that? Dou by dou z of what is u z? 4 plus 6 x square. 4 plus 6 x square into 10 power minus 2. No z terms is there. So 0. So the epsilon y is existing there. Now gamma xy. We need to find gamma xy. Gamma xy. It is very easy. Gamma xy is equal to dou by dou x of uy plus dou by dou y of ux. This is the uh, expansion for gamma xy that is dou by dou x of uy 3y is into 3y is into 10 power minus 2 plus dou by dou y of ux y square into 10 power minus 2 y square into 10 power minus 2 so this term is 0 this term uh, 2y into 10 power minus 2 but y is equal to again 0 putting the value of y as 0 then it will become 0 so gamma xy is equal to 0 gamma xy is equal to 0 now we can find out the next term uh, gamma x is it gamma x is it is equal to dou by dou x of u is it plus dou by dou z of u x that is equal to dou by dou x of u is it is 4 plus 6 x square 4 plus 6 x square into 10 power minus 2 plus dou by dou z of u x is y square into 10 power minus 2 y square into 10 power minus 2 so here while making the differentiation with respect to x 6 into 2 12 12 x will come here 12 x into 10 power minus 2 plus this is 0 now for x what is our point our point 102 point 102 we will get 12 into 1 that is 12 12 into 10 power minus 2 this is the answer for gamma x is it gamma x is it is equal to 12 into 10 power minus 2 And now, one more thing is remaining gamma is at y or gamma y is at gamma y is at that is equal to dou by dou y of u is at plus dou by dou z of u y dou by dou y of u is at is 4 plus 6 x square into 10 power minus 2 4 plus 6 x square into 10 power minus 2 plus dou by dou z of u y u y is 3 y is at into 10 power minus 2. 3y is z into 10 power minus 2. So this term is 0 because there is no y here. Plus here we have z 3y into 10 power minus 2. What is y? y is 0. See y is corresponding to y. The coordinate is on 0. That is equal to 0 plus 0. That is equal to 0. So final answer coming is Gamma y z is equal to 0. Gamma y z is equal to 0. So 
our strain tensor will become new tensor we can write the new tensor corresponding to that matrix here it is gamma xy not exy uh, so for gamma xy we can write all these things epsilon xx is 0 uh, epsilon yy it is there 6 into 10 power minus 2 6 into 10 power minus 2 epsilon z is equal to 0 gamma xy we already found it is 0 gamma x is a, that is 12 into 10 power minus 2 12 into 10 power minus 2 we have uh, that thing and here gamma yx that is equal to again 0 and then here what is coming gamma y z gamma y z is 0 uh, now again here uh, gamma z x gamma z x gamma z x 12 into 10 power minus 2 12 into 10 power minus 2 here gamma z y gamma z y is 0 so this is the uh, new uh, stress tensor if they if you are writing in terms of gamma xy if you are writing in terms of exy this will again become half sorry this will not go because exy is equal to gamma xy by 2 so if you are making a matrix of eij we will get exy is equal to gamma xy by uh, 2 then our uh, values will become uh, 12 into 10 power minus 2 by 2 and uh, here also 12 into 10 power minus 2 by 2 so this is how we can calculate the rectangular uh, strain components also this is a very simple problem so uh, now i solved two problems from the displacement field more number of problems are uh, available in uh, the textbooks ls renal so you can refer to that also thank you